hello everybody welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is sky tech digital now in this video um we're going to talk about how to add cookie notice and gdpr compliances to your wordpress website so um you know sometimes you go to a website and then you see um this notice over here it says um we use cookies on our website to give you most relevant experience by remembering your preferences and repeat visit um, by clicking accept you consent to the use of all the cookies and then you click what accept okay now this is what we call the cookie notice okay now why do people have this cookie notice over there now there is a law which says that um every website owner who you know um, um have users in the european union and then california and other places should be able to um, um you know uh, um, um, show this notice on what on the website so that um visitors will know they will accept it or will not what will not accept it and then um you know if you show it by law um you are what you are um, um obeying the laws of what of the cookie law now let's look at how it's it's shown on the on the website over here now let me let me go over here and then accept this one and then i'll show you how um passes okay one two three four okay now i can go okay so as you can see even google have what a cookie notice over here okay so google says what we use cookies and data to deliver and maintain um, google site and um, services okay and then all the other things that they've lifted so if you accept you what um you know you you choose to you can choose to what reject if you choose to reject or you will not use cookies for these what um you know additional purposes so this is our uh, even from what from google over here shows you that it is by law and uh, mandatory for everybody to use what um to use cookie notice on their what on their website so let's say i reject it okay so it means that cookie um google will not what remember you know any of my settings that i make on on their website okay so um look at this one over here now cookie laws the cookie law is a piece of privacy legislation that requires websites to get consent from visitors to store or retrieve any information on a computer smartphone or tablet so um it is a law which um you are supposed to what um it, it requires all website owners to display this information over there so that um you know you tell users that we store your information blah 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 we use it to do this blah 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 and then they can choose to accept or reject okay so it is by law that you have to what every website owner have to get this um you know uh, cookie notice over there now if you are a reputable business you don't joke with this kind of laws okay and that is it so um if if um you know you accept this law then you have to what you have to show your cookie notice over there and then users will what will accept it now how do you show this on wordpress website now that is what we are going to what um we are going to you know uh, deal with over here today okay so um i'm going to show you in a few minutes how you can be able to add this cookie notice you can show it as a pop-up you can show it as a cookie bar or whatever it is you can even display it in your widget okay anyhow you want to display it i'm going to show you how you can be able to what, um display this kind of what um cookie notices on your what on your website okay so don't go anywhere stick with me and let's get into the video now let's um to do that we're going to go to our dashboard over here okay now we're going to install a new plugin a new plugin called um cookie you know notice or cookie yes okay so i'm going to click on add new over here so go to plugins and then click on add new now i'm going to search um cookies okay just search for cookies okay so the first one that pops up is what we're going to what we're going to install okay so it says what cookie yes gdpr cookie consent and compliance notice okay so this is what we are going to what we are going to it is by web topic okay so that is what we're going to what we're going to install so um click on install now and i click on activate to activate it okay so now that we have activated it now what we're going to look for is what the cookie um gdpr cookie consent over here so this is what we have installed now go to the settings of it now you can even see it over here okay 
So but we are going to the settings of the cookie um, consent plugin. And then we have to what, adjust all the settings to our needs. Okay. So as you can see, um, you can select the type of law that you want. If it is only, if your audience, your target audience are from the European Union, then you can just select the GDPR notice. Okay. If your target audience is from California, then you can select to a CCPA. Okay. But if you have a um, target audience from, you know, European Union and California, then you select the CCP and the GDPR. Okay. So that is what we, we, we are selecting now because we have audiences from all those places. And then, um, you know, you can enable the CCPA and then you can show CCPA notice. And then you can what? Um, make it auto hide when the cookie bar, um, you know, when it is what auto hide, it will automatically show that the person have what accepted what um, the cookie notice. So um, auto hide cookie bar after delay. If it is yes, you say what yes. If it is no, you say what no. I'm going to stick with the no because I want people to click on the accept. Okay. And then auto hide cookie bar if the user scrolls. Okay. So if the user decides to scroll, do you want um, it to be like hidden? And then it means that the person, you know, accept on scroll. Now, I'm not going to say yes to that because the person doesn't know that when he um, scroll, he has what, accepted it. But I'm going to stick with the no, okay? Now, you can update it if you make any changes with it. And then you can go through all the what, all the, um, you know, the, the settings over here, okay? So, um, you know, you can decide to go to um, other over here. And then, you know you can check all those things so re reload after what after scroll event so do you want if the person scroll that thing do you want it to reload reload after what after accept button click so when the person click on accept do you want it to what reload again reload after what um uh, reject button okay so do you want um you know the website to reload again after the person reject all these things you can set but i'll leave it to no 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 over there and then customize what cookie um you know Bar, okay so um this is the cookie heading so you give your note your notice over there as what cookie what heading over there and then you can what give the message um that will be in the word cookie um you know bar or the cookie pop-up that is what you see what over here okay so um this message over here is what you what you will see okay that is what the cookie what uh, notice okay so um, you can modify it the way you want it to put some in it okay and then the, this is what cookie bar color okay so the bar color um, what color do you want it to be okay you can choose it over here and then the text color okay so if this is red then you can choose what um, the text color that you want so if it is maybe black the text color should be what also what um, maybe white or so okay so cookie font so you can choose the font that you want but i'm going i'm going with the team font and then show cookie bar as you can show it as what as a banner as a pop-up and as a what as a widget okay now if you show it as a banner it's going to show just like this one over here okay it's going to show just like what this one over here now if you show it as what as a pop-up it will what it will pop up over here okay and that is it now let's say we show it as what as we know how the banner looks like but let's look at how the pop-up will be like the background will be red and then the text will be white so let's update it over here now i'm going to copy um you know the url over here and then go to the incognito over here and then you know reload it from here so as you can see this is how the pop-up looks like okay so um the cookie notice the heading is over there and then it says what we use cookies on our website to give you the most um, relevant experience by remembering your experiences and um, your preferences and repeat visit by clicking accept you um you what you consent to the use of all cookies okay so you can what click what accept or you can check the cookie settings okay or you can say do not sell my what you can check out the do not sell my personal information what um you know settings over here okay so that is what the pop-up okay now the banner to um, will be what will be below over there okay so that is what that is it so we want it to be a pop-up and then um you know animate on load um hide on load all of them you can uh, hide 
on hide animate on hide and all of them you can set it the way you want it okay so that is it now let's go to what um the custom buttons over here so you can what also um you know change the color of your what your button so as you can see the color is what green over here okay so you can decide to what, change the custom um, buttons over here okay and that depends on you and then you can also these are all with the button settings okay you can also go to what advanced and then do some advanced settings over here you can go to help guide and then you will get all the cookie you know short code to use in the page and post that you want okay and then you can check if you want to go to the pro you can check the um, the free versus the premium or the pro uh, version of the what of the plugin okay so that is it so these are the few settings that you can do now you can also check your what cookie list cookie category you know cookie scanner policy generator okay so let's check the poli policy generator over here and then see what goes into what the policy that we are what that we are using so as you can see about this cookie policy what are cookies um how do you use cookies you know what types of cookies do we use and then how um how can i control the cookie preferences so you can change all the details that you want to change over here okay so if you go to um you know uh, what are cookies you can what you can change over here if you go to you know how do you use cookies you can what also what fix some few you know details over here if you go to what what types of cookies do we use you can what um you know change all the things over here okay and then how can i control um the cookie preferences you can also what um check it over here okay so um these are all some of the things that we can and this is how you can be able to add cookie notice and gdpr um you know consent to your what to your um to your website okay making your website um, very professional um for people to trust your website okay so if your target audience like i said if your target audience is from the european union and california then you need to have a cookie notice on your website okay so thank you for watching and see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and I, if this video helped you please share it for others to also what enjoy it thank you for watching bye bye